So we really believe that wines are made in the vineyard. So we look at the farm as one single living ecosystem or organism, if you will. In addition to the grapevines, we also have a fold of Scottish Highland cattle. And we have a flock of Old English Southdown sheep, which actually live in the vineyard for part of the growing season. And uh, we also have Mangalitsa pigs here. Uh, we're composting all of their manures together and uh, treating that with special preparations, which uh, helps to create vibrant living soils. We believe that a living soil will produce better quality, balanced grapes, and that allows us to not have to intervene in the cellar. We like to think of ourselves as shepherds, sort of just guiding the wine through the process. I feel very honored to be farming this land and really hope that through our practices we're, we're bettering the soils for the future generations. Lightfoot and Wolfville stands for the people and the place. Lightfoot, of course, is our family name and Wolfville is the name of this area where we are. It's about really celebrating what makes this region so special. And I think that that approach is what allows us to create through our wines almost a, a vessel to this time and place, if you will. So the Annapolis Valley is an incredibly unique growing environment situated between two parallel mountain ranges adjacent to the Bay of Fundy. The tides coming off the basin, season those cool saltwater breezes help to extend the hang times of our fruit, which ultimately results in grapes that are fully ripe in terms of phenolic maturity, uh, relatively low sugar content, and uh, provides wines that are characterized by freshness, finesse, and uh, a real uh, vibrancy that only cool climate regions can, can really achieve. Our main varieties that we focus on would be uh, cool climate vinifera such as Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, uh, Gamay Noir. Also growing a selection of cold hardy hybrid varieties which are very well suited for our, our cool climate here in Nova Scotia. We are currently at an annual production of around 10,000 cases so uh, relatively uh, small in terms of the, the global wine scale. The overwhelming response that, that we're finding is just excitement and surprise and delight with the quality of the wines that are, that are coming from this region. And I find people are really looking to connect uh, with where their, their food is coming from and where their wine is coming from. And uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to be part of this blossoming uh, food and wine culture that's growing here in the Annapolis Valley.